Hello and welcome to another Raggies uh, beer review over in the uh, cake room. Uh, so today I'm drinking from uh, Pamphra. Um, oh, it's called Pamphra. Pamphra. Festive Best Bitter. So there's the brewery. There's the beer in the brewery. Um, oh. So, rich chestnut colour, layers of caramel and biscuit maltiness. Robust and well-rounded with fruity spice notes. 4.8% gifted to the Maragi's Beer Reviews by the very kind um, Instagram legend and YouTube legend known as, known as Beery Beast in the East. I hope you're okay, mate. Um, inhabitants of the small Norfolk town of Repam claim to have seen a large pamphlet cat prowling and secretly stalking the countryside. This and crafted ale is dedicated to this beautiful animal. Best bitter, 4.8%. Um, Pamphlet festive best bitter. So I, pres I presume the brewery is Pamphlet. Pamphlet, real ale with beer. So it's their festive best bitter. So, yeah. You know when you don't know the name of the brewery and the beers. <clears throat> So it's a Wednesday. Wednesday? Is it a Wednesday? Yeah, it's been a funny week this week. Um, Wednesday night. Uh, here we go. We're in the cake room. It's a little bit cooler in here now than it was earlier. I've turned the eating off. Um, it is what it is, you know, you can't win with the eating. So, amber looking colour in this light at least. A little white head there, already dissipated. Um, and cheers all. This is the home of Raggy's Bear Reviews for probably the next two months uh, because it's just so, so cold out in the shed. It's either this or the kitchen. This is probably better, actually, because at least I can sit down and chat. TV's on in there. No one, no one's walking in or out. There's no need to come in, in the cake room. So, there you go. Slightly malty nose, not really getting anything else on the nose at this moment in time. There we go. I'll be honest. I'm really, really ready for Christmas now. It's been a, it's been a long slog. Um, these eleven months, coming to the end of this November, you know, we're we're, we're going to be entering the twelve month, twelfth month, and <clears throat> yeah, it's been a super long slog. And uh, this is probably the last night of normal reviews for for a while because. Um, because the live's coming up. Um, I've already decided that with pubs, I'm going to kill the one minute reviews off. Uh, they are okay. Um, if it's pretty quiet, then maybe. But if it's in a rammed pub, I'd rather get a beer, come home and do justice to the review. Um, it's the way I see it anyway, you know. There's no rights or wrongs with beer reviews. Uh, every beer reviewer does what they do. And uh, I'm always trying to be the best that I can be. Cheers. So it's a hazy uh, amber pour. Malty caramel. I feel like it's a modern, a slightly modern twist on the world of best bitters. So not quite a, a standard, modern, traditional best bitter, but more of a, a slightly craftier uh, best bitter. Um, 
first ever beer from this brewery, Panther. Like I said, massive thank you to Beer Beer Beast in the East for actually gifting it to the channel. Um, you know, from from this different parts of the country and the world. Um, there's only so many breweries that one person can never get beers from, can never visit. And you know, to be gifted beers, it's it's super kind. Um, in a time where the pinch is being felt by all of us, I mean, wow, standard of livings. Uh, we work harder now as a couple than we've ever worked for a much less standard of living. But it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. So we just carry on and persevere and try and do what we try and do our best. Which is all you can do in the grand scheme of things, isn't it? You know, do your best. Try and live the best life you can. And hopefully, you know, uh, it will turn around and things will get a bit more kinder. Hopefully, anyway. Like I say, coming to the end of November, and I'm tired. Um, I'm ready for a bit of downtime. I'm ready for some, some weeks off work. Um, lesser working hours. And, and get some life back. You know, it, if it's a funny thing where earning less money but having a better life it is is a good thing in some ways. And from from December to the end of February, um, because of gardening, um, certainly gardening, the gardens I look after because they don't need me. Um, I've already done what I need to do on those gardens. So it's definitely a hazy pour, this is. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. There's n like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and the world, world changes all the time. I used to be really good at the internet but, and websites, but um, even that's changed so much. Um, And, uh, yeah, I'm probably seven or eight years behind now as a, from what I used to be. I used to be quite... I, I, my websites used to be at the top of the internet. Nowadays, you probably can't even find them, which is quite sad, really, because, yeah. But, uh, but it's been a long time now since I've done any internet, proper internet work. Half the game is, with internet, with social media, is to exploit the loopholes that are there to be exploited. And and that's how you grow your channels. These days on, on social media, a lot of it is flesh. You know, if you expose your flesh, and this is more of a woman thing than a bloke thing, uh, your site will grow. Um, and I can understand that because you look at Instagram, Twitter, certainly, certainly uh, TikTok, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, there's things that you don't want to see, and uh, you don't want to see when you're just browsing normally. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So, um, from Panfet, their festive best bitter. It's a nice, easy drinking, slightly hazy um, best bitter. That's what it looks like for me. Um, I'm not sure if it's bottle conditioned. I may have stirred it up. So, and it is. It's brewed unfiltered and unpasteurized. So yeah, basically it is. It's a, a bottle conditioned beer. So, but it's a nice best bit. It's easy drinking. Goes down well. Um, looks amber. On the colour. For me, it's a modern interpretation of a best bitter. Um, very malty, uh, caramel, but it's so easy drinking. I 
Would I drink it again? Yes. Out of five. Good 4.1 out of five. And there we go. Pamper. Have you had this brewery? Let me know. And again, a big thank you to Baby Beast in the East. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.